What's up, bro? What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas. My name is Khayat Khaled. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I just gave you the Quran. Uh, you, you said you're familiar with Islam, familiar with the Quran. Mm-hmm. What do you know about Islam? Well, let's see. Um, like the history or the no, goal? Like, just, no, no. Like, what, what do you know about Islam? Like the message of Islam? What do you, what do you understand from it? Well, uh, I understand that uh, the Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet. Yes. And um, the like, angel Gabriel came to him yes. and uh, told him the, the new message. Gave from, him the Quran. The Quran, yes. yes. And, and uh, then you the worship one God and don't kill, similar to the old prophets. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so my, for my, for my Muslim friends and my research of it, it just comes from the fact that I think every Muslim wants to... Honestly, I, a lot of my friends, they try to follow the life Muhammad lived. So that's yes, why they, yes. they the, the Hajj, they, yes. they fast yep. uh, during uh, Ramadan. We, we call that following the Sunnah, the way of life of the Prophet. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you this, uh, Nicholas, right? Mm-hmm. What, what's your faith? My faith? Yeah, what do you believe? I'm actually a Buddhist. But, um, Interesting. I went to a Christian university before I transferred here. Interesting. So, so do you, you believe there's a God? Because I know Buddhism, there's no central God, right? It depends a, what, what you believe in. Yeah. I like to believe there's a God, yes. So you believe there's a higher power, there's, a, there's one God that created everything? I like to believe, yes. Yeah, and do you believe in the old prophets? Abraham, Moses, or Jesus? Do I believe they existed, or do I believe they're... Do you believe they're prophets of God? I'm not sure. Basically, we say as Muslims that God the Creator created us, and similar to someone that creates a phone, for example, He sends a manual guide Similar like how iPhone has a manual guide. Mm-hmm. So we believe he sent prophets over time with manual guides, the holy books, to tell people how to live, what's right, what's wrong, morality basically, mm-hmm. and to worship one God. And there's a long line of prophets, Moses, Abraham, Noah, and the final one is Prophet Muhammad, as you know, as you, as, as you stated. And uh, pretty much, that's the Muslim belief. And for, you're Buddhist, right? How do you derive your morality from Buddhism? How do you know what's right, what's wrong? So, like, for example, is drinking alcohol allowed in Buddhism? It's not necessarily prohibited. It's not initially not allowed. But they ask you to refrain from doing it because you're, you are more opportunities to not be in the right mind. Okay, but the, the Buddhism doesn't tell you that there's one God, right? Depends, it doesn't give a message of, of, of monotheism, for example. Depends how far you go. Depends mm-hmm. how, how much you really go into it. Really, okay. I think um, Buddhism has changed so much depending on the region. Yes. Which is why I kind of like, that's my... Uh, it's kind of diluted from its original state. Depends on what sect, but yes. Uh, similarly, similar to Christianity. Christianity has diluted I, so that's much. That's what I agree with. Because if you ask any, say, Christian, yes. what's, the name of, what's the name of God? Yes. They'll give you all different answers. Oh yeah, of course. You ask a Muslim, what's the name of God? Allah. Allah. They always say that. Yeah. Exactly. Forget the name of God, bro. Ask them core creedal issues. Everyone gives a different thing. Like, if you ask 20 Christians, explain the Trinity, they will give you 20 different answers. Yep, they would. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We say, no, Islam has one message and that all the prophets from the beginning of time to Prophet Muhammad had one message, worship one God, Allah. Allah means God in Arabic, by the way. Mm-hmm. Worship one God, don't kill, don't murder, don't steal. And this message has been consistent. And a Muslim means someone that submits. Someone that submits in Arabic is a Muslim. Mm-hmm. So someone that you submit your will to God, you're a Muslim. So we believe that Jesus was a Muslim and Moses was a Muslim. Abraham was a Muslim. Noah was a Muslim. You understand? Mm. So all of these people were Muslims in the, in, the, in the idea that they submitted their will to God Almighty and they followed His will. So these, this idea that Christianity, this word Christianity, this word Judaism, these were adulterated, was, these were changed from the original message uh, of Jesus. Like for example, co-equal, co-eternal between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus never said that. Jesus said the Father is greater than I. That verse in itself destroys the, tr- the Trinity. The, the creed the, the Nicene creed 325 yeah I know it's the Trinity either yeah uh, him saying that the father is greater than I destroys that idea of co-equality co- e- uh, are you following me? yeah uh, from, from what I understood they believe it's like it's kind of like it's like it's like they say the body soul spirit three in one one in three water is like uh, liquid f- uh, gas and ice I- I've heard these things Yeah, uh, they always just say like Oh, you know, God, you can't understand him, right? You yeah, they, they, they always they, say that so. they, they, acc- they ascribe it to mystery Yeah We see as Muslim, no, God is the most knowledgeable, the most merciful He will never send something that confuses the people 
he will send something clear, something concise, something that you can understand. The, 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 the most learned man and the most unlearned man, they can all understand that there's one God, he created everything. Do good by doing these things and you enter heaven. If you do bad, you will enter hell. Something very simple. So what's, uh, what's Allah's um, reasoning per se, someone has a lot, of, a, lot of big, a lot of bad things happening to them, right? Like, yes. they're devout Muslim, yes. but they become paralyzed, right? Yes. A Christian will say, that's oh, God's testing you, right? Yes, <laughs> or, yes. or God's message, uh, God's plan, right? Yes. What's, is a lot of the same? That thing? is the same, almost the same message. If God, God, th this life is understood as a test, it's a testing ground. God tests people by afflicting them with trials, and God tests people by giving them pleasures. So we say that if someone has a terminal illness, for example, this is a test of God to see how you will react to it, to see how if you'll still be grateful to God, to see if you will uh, curse God. Mm. Similarly, God, for example, gives good things to people like a lot of money and test them with that. Maybe if I, if I give you $20 billion today and I say, you know, this is you and you go do all the haram things, you go drink, you'll have sex. That's a test. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's the concept in Islam. Yeah. Mm. You have any other questions? How does, how does all this sound to you? It sounds pretty similar does, <laughs> to Abraham religions. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, not, not so similar to like uh, the God concept of the Trinity. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that, yeah. That's different. And that's the, uh, to be honest, that's the main thing uh, that someone should worry about. Who is God? You know yeah, what I mean? It's a one. Yeah. And it's easier. So, uh, so do you now, you believe in one God. I like to think that God exists yeah. and he's good. Yeah, of course. And do you believe in the Prophet Muhammad as a, as a prophet of God? Similar to the Jesus, Moses, Abraham. Uh, I would like to think like they're all talking about some. I I like to think a lot of prophets are like from good. God. Yeah, from yeah, God, of course. Uh, even the stories of I have to go right now. I have to I have to hurry up. Even the stories in the Bible, for example, they say Noah, a mighty prophet of God, he got drunk. Mm -hmm. They say the prophet Job, that he had sex with his daughters. Are you familiar familiar with these verses? Yeah, they um, like the, the Bible does not hide the sins of its uh, heroes. They dis they describe the prophets in the most disgusting ways. Like, for example, if I saw someone that slept with two of his daughters, I would not trust this guy to go get me water, let alone salvation. Mm -hmm. We say in Islam, all of these stories were, they were false and they were made up by people. That God's prophets will never be heinous people because they have such a heavy message to humanity. Mm -hmm. And that they are the most purest and most cleanest people because they are the example that we should follow. E even with the original, original sin? They're, we don't they're... believe in original sin. You don't? Uh... We believe that if your father killed someone, you should not be punished for it. Isn't that fair? How about uh, Adam and Eve, the original sin? Yeah, we, don't, we believe that, that Adam did that sin, did that mistake, and he repented and God forgave him. Oh, okay. we, don't, we don't say, if your father did a sin, is it just for me to punish you? No. Yeah. Uh, Islam is very coherent, coherent with logic. Mm. The or, idea of original sin is gone because there's, there's no justice. We believe God is all just, uh, all, the most just. The idea that God is three and one, this is, goes against logic that God gave us these brains to think with. One is not equal to three. One is one. Three is three. You either worship one God or you worship three gods. Yep. So we believe in one God. And does this make sense to you? Yes. Do you agree with these uh, principles and ideas? Do I agree? Yes. You believe there's one God? You believe he sent prophets? I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't like to make uh, these things uh, like... Uh, yeah. I don't really know. I'm so young, you know? Yeah. I uh, make it a point to learn about all religions because yes. I think each religion has so much wisdom to learn from. Yeah, and sure. I don't like to close my heart to them. Yes. So, no, don't close your heart. I want you to open your heart towards Islam. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Well, uh, Nathan. Nicholas. Nicholas, sorry about that. I'm going to take your number. We have to dip right. We have to go, we have to go, go pray Jummah. It's the Friday uh, sermon prayer. Uh, uh, yes. uh, Muslims pray. Uh, we're going to go pray. And uh, I want to take your number so we can chat a little bit. Sure. All right. Thank you, bro. I appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. really no. Basically, Islam is like how there's an Old Testament, there's a New Testament. We like to say this is the final testament from God. To the to the uh, to the humans is free free of charges it's gifts. Oh, okay. And basically, the Muslim the Islamic message is there's one God to be worshipped. He's not a man. He's not a tree. He's not a he's not any of these things. He's a God. We can't imagine him. He sent messengers over time to give the message to the people that there's one God. Worship him. Don't kill. Don't steal. Don't murder. These morals that we know now. Yeah. And uh, that uh, this came with the final prophet. We believe in Jesus, Moses, Abraham, all those prophets. This is the final prophet, Prophet Muhammad. And he came with this message. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And what's y'all's faith? You guys don't mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, what, 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 so what, what's your, if you can give me like a, your belief exactly, what do you believe in? Uh, well, what I type of Christian? Because you know, there's a bunch of them. Well, I'm a non-denomination. Oh, like, the, yeah. like Ethan. We just spoke to non-denomination. Yeah, 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 yeah. And non you? Non-denomination. So do y'all believe Jesus is God? 
Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. And, yes. And what uh, aspects? Uh, uh, well, there's uh, three, the three forms, the, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, so you're a Trinitarian. Uh. And you as well? Yeah. Okay. Basically, we're saying that the idea that Jesus, as a man, as his manly limitations, for example, like in the Bible, we, we all agree God knows everything. Yeah. Would we agree that? That God knows everything? Mm-hmm. That nothing can be not known to God. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, like in the, in the Bible, it says that Jesus says that when the guy came, he said, when is the hour? The day of judgment. What did Jesus say? He said, not the Son knows, mm-hmm. nor the angels in heaven, only the Father knows. So we're saying, these are some examples that show that the humanness of Jesus. Right. That if, if Jesus was God, He would have to know the hour. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you, do you yeah. follow me? So we believe Jesus is a messenger. That God sent Him as a Messiah, as a Christ, as one of the mightiest messengers he, to, the, to the lost sheep of Israel. Are you familiar with this terminology? Oh, yeah, yeah. So He came to the Israelites. The Israelites. Yeah, and He told them the message of the... He came to fulfill the scripture, basically. To yeah. fulfill what the, 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 the Old Testament. To tighten the screws, make the laws a little bit more tighter for them. I guess. Do you have any uh, questions or like? No, not really. Do no, you agree no. with everything? Yeah, what we're just saying. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's a uh, pretty some some pretty interesting stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, 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 so the point that Jesus did not did not know the hour. Do you, do you still believe that he's God? Oh yes, hundred percent. Can you explain a little bit more? Um, I I just uh, from what I was raised on yeah. and uh, everything that my fam- me and my family believe in yeah, yeah I I just uh, I want to partake in that so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll try to stay true to that as far as uh, but, for, but, but, but I'm saying if yeah. God knows everything mm-hmm. and Jesus did not know the hour you, you see what I'm you see, are you following me if okay. Jesus didn't know the hour this yeah. shows that this, Jesus cannot be God he's a, Jesus is just a man. Well, well, yes, he was uh, he was God in human form. Yeah, I, I think that that is the way to put it. Um, but I, I do believe it's uh, it's it is him. It's like a, it's a, basically he is God. He is the Messiah, and, he, and you know we also believe like he'll return. So yeah, we believe that as well as Muslims. Yeah. By the way, we believe in the second coming. Actually, yeah. Jesus. we believe that Jesus he's the only prophet. He didn't die. God raised him. He protected him. And that okay. he's going to have a second coming towards the end of times and fulfill the rest of the of his mission, basically. Okay. Yeah. Right. So basically, yeah. If you guys yeah. check out the Quran, read it, give it a read. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you guys yeah. have anything else you guys want to add or questions? No, not really. All right. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Hey, thanks for your time, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you take care. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Just come over here with some new people. Anyways, like how I was telling you, just mm-hmm. forget there's a camera. Yeah. This is the Quran. Mm-hmm. It's the holy book of the Muslims. Uh, this is re- was revealed to the final prophet, Prophet Muhammad, mm-hmm. and it tells you the message of Islam. Okay. So this is just a gift from me to you. Okay. And uh, you can read up on Islam. By the way, yeah. what's your what's your, what do you believe in right now? Um, I don't know. I don't really have a. Specific you believe in God? Religion. I believe in a higher power. Yeah. So you believe something greater than us created everything? Yeah. And but you don't. You just don't have a name to the religion you follow. No. So basically, Muslims, we believe that there's one God mm-hmm. that created everything, the sky, the earth, the humans. Mm-hmm. And we believe that this God sent messengers over time to different people to tell okay. them the message. Yeah. That there's one God, don't kill, don't steal, these basic moral ideas. Yeah. And so we believe in all the old prophets, like from the, from the Christian religion, like Jesus, we believe in Moses. Yeah. We believe Jesus is a prophet, not God. Yeah. Because we say he's a man, he ate, it, 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 it's not logically conceivable but he's also God mm-hmm. so that's what the Muslim belief is and we believe that there's a final prophet that came with, uh, to all people yeah. which is the prophet Muhammad and he came with the message that worship one God don't worship idols don't kill don't steal and uh, that's pretty much the basis of the faith Okay. so what, what, what would you have to say about that do you, uh, would, you, would you agree with those morals yeah or, you know? I mean obviously killing people is bad yeah yeah stealing is bad yeah um I mean, it's obvious to us because we kind of have some good moral leanings. Yeah. There's some people that it's not obvious to because they don't have God and they have the tendency to, I don't know, get the higher position, like, you know, throughout history. The, yeah. The kings yeah. kill, the, the prince kills the king so he can become yeah. higher. And all the pillaging. That's why, that's why we say that it's, there's a need for God so the people that don't know, know. Yeah. And that we don't, we don't have objective morality. We need to derive that from God. Yeah. Because God created us. He knows better than us. Mm-hmm. And so that's the message of Islam. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say? I'll give it a read. Give it a read. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I appreciate your time. You have any yeah. questions about Islam? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I'll just learn as I go. Got it, bro. I appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you, bro.